Hey everyone, thanks for joining me in this video series on how to build any website with PageCloud. In today's video, we will be covering how to build a website from a blank page. To start from a blank page, you can either delete all existing content from a page or click on Add New Page from the Page Browser and then select Add Blank Page. Before you start building, we recommend that you spend some time coming up with a general layout or concept that will serve as the foundation for your new site or page. Sites like Pinterest and Dribbble are commonly used by designers to find inspiration for their designs. In this video, I will be recreating a design from a Photoshop file. However, keep in mind that everything will be done with PageCloud and that you don't need to have Photoshop to recreate this design. To speed up the creation process, I've already gone ahead and exported all the image files from the Photoshop document so I can quickly upload them onto my page. Also, to really illustrate what I'm doing, I've exported the entire website design into a single image file that I will use as a guide while I build. I am resizing the image so that the text fits within the page grid. To help me position it, I'm using the Align Center shortcut. This can be accomplished by typing A then C. Once I'm happy with the horizontal position, I'll use the Align Top shortcut so that the top of the page matches to the top of the image file. This shortcut is done by typing A then T. To make sure this image doesn't get in my way as I build, I'm going to send it to the background using the Arrange tab. I'm also going to reduce the opacity and lock it into position so it doesn't move when I toggle select something. Now that I have a guide, I will start by getting the proper fonts onto my page. Having looked at the Photoshop file, I know that this design has four fonts. Ubuntu, Poppins, Oswald, and Montserrat. As these are all Google fonts, I will copy and paste them from fonts.google.com. Let's start styling these fonts so that they match what's on the page. To make the process a little faster, I'm using the plus and minus symbols on my keyboard to quickly increase or decrease the size of the selected font. You can play with advanced text settings like font weight, font spacing, and line height until you're happy with how everything looks. To get really precise, you could match the settings found in Photoshop, but I'm just going to eyeball it so you can see how you can accomplish a beautiful design without any other software. Let's add a shape from the Elements panel to create this Login button. Cool. Now that we've got proper styling for our text boxes, we can duplicate them with copy and paste or by holding down the Alt key before selecting an object. This little trick really helps when trying to recreate objects with the same style attributes. Okay, now this next part will go by pretty quick. I didn't want you to have to sit through me creating a bunch of similar text boxes. All I'm doing here is the same things I just did, just much faster. Wow, look at me go. <laughs> okay, now that we've got all the text on our page, let's change the color of all the white text boxes. You can select as many objects as you want and then style them by using the editing menu. The next step that will really make this page come to life is to add some beautiful images. You can do this by uploading them through the sidebar or by copy and pasting or dragging them onto your pages. This design has a really cool hero image with a few overlaid images. The background is a purple gradient with an image on top. The squiggly line effect can be recreated with a PNG image set to full width. The transparent top part allows for the background image to be visible. The top layer is an Apple Watch that was exported from Photoshop with a subtle but cool looking shadow. As you can see here, the key is simply getting the layering right to create the desired effect. We'd recommend moving these full width elements behind the text so you can always have access for easy editing. This is looking really good now. Don't forget, 
You can always delete the background image used as a grid if you want to see how your actual page will look. You'll need to unlock it before you can delete it. Use the undo shortcut if you want to bring it back into place. Let's quickly add in the rest of the images to this page. As we add in the final images, you'll notice a couple images in our design that seem to be coming out of the sides of the screen. This effect can be created in a few steps. One, add an image. Two, make it full width. Three, change the display option to shrink to fit. And four, change the position of the image to center right or center left. And voila, you've just created the desired effect. To create the form field, you can use the native PageCloud form or embed one of the many third-party options such as MailChimp, JotForm, or Wufu. The last thing you'll want to do is add in the proper links and then remove the guide in the background. Now let's save those changes and see how this page looks online. Awesome! When creating new pages, we recommend duplicating the page you just made so that all the styling and elements are at your fingertips. That's it for today. Although there are a ton of other features that we did not have time to cover, we'd recommend you explore the different tabs to discover what's possible with PageCloud. Also, don't forget to check out our other videos, our searchable knowledge base, and support team. Can't wait to see what you'll create with PageCloud.